Well, you guys, today we're talking about installing Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. You need to be doing this at your own risk. Microsoft have clarified that you will not be receiving any sort of security updates. We'll talk about it in this video. Now, we all know that there is a workaround on Windows 11 by adding a registry key. Now, of course, if you do this, this means that you will be able to install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware that gets detected as unsupported. The problem with this is a lot of people are showing people how to do this. And to be honest with you, as I said in the beginning, there's always going to be a risk uh, with this because Microsoft have the way to stop security updates to those computers in the future. And the reason why they'll do that is they'll just create a list of CPUs which are not listed and you will just not receive any updates. You can see here, so if you insist on installing Windows 11 on an unsupported machine, it will work. You will be able to get Windows 11 on there and Microsoft know about this loophole and they're not going to close it. They're just going to leave it open. And basically what that means is if you do install it and you decide to go ahead and install Windows 11 on that system, yes, it will run and work and it may update for the time being, but eventually Microsoft could patch that hole and basically stop you from updating security updates and other updates for that system. So you have to beg the question, is it worth uh, doing in the first place? Because eventually the more people that start doing it, the more Microsoft will know that they're getting updates to unsupported hardware. And eventually they will just close the door on those updates. So they may work for now, but the more people that do it, I think there's the more chance that they will start to uh, implement some sort of blocking for those particular machines. Now, there was some news that was said to The Verge about the blocking of unsupported hardware, but there was no written evidence to back it up. But now we have an article here from Microsoft saying installing Windows 11 on devices that don't meet minimum system requirements. You can see here it breaks it all down for you and you can see what needs your attention. This PC doesn't meet the minimum system requirements for running Windows 11. These requirements help ensure a more reliable and higher quality experience installing Windows 11 on a PC that is not recommended and may result in compatibility issues. If you proceed and with installing Windows 11, your PC will no longer be supported and won't be entitled to receive updates. Damages to your PC due to the lack of compatibility aren't covered under the manufacturer's warranty. By selecting accept, you are acknowledging that you've read and understood this statement. And basically, that's what they've done there. There's this uh, message that will pop up and warn you about installing it. Now, of course, if you go ahead and install it and you get updates, you may receive updates for the time being until it's patched. Now, there will be a time where Microsoft will close the door on this. I'm pretty sure of it if there's a lot of people uh, starting to install Windows 11 on their system and basically on unsupported hardware. How can they block it? It's pretty simple. They could easily add a list for added CPUs. It will run a check on your system before the update is done. And if it finds your CPU is not compatible, you just won't get those updates. And that would be as simple as that. Now, the problem with that means is that it just means that you're going to be using Windows 11 without security updates and other sort of patches. Is it working right now? I really don't know. I've seen people saying that they're still getting updates. I don't know how they're still getting updates because there's not many updates coming down for Windows 11 as of yet. But only time will tell whether Microsoft will really enforce uh, their update and security update policies for unsupported hardware. So we're just going to have to wait and see and see whether they actually implement that as a real thing. Because sending a little message up on the screen trying to frighten people is one thing, but actually physically doing it is another. And they may not do it as of yet, but I'm pretty sure if there's more people going ahead and installing Windows 11 on their old unsupported hardware, I'm pretty sure they'll do something about it. So I just wanted to bring this to your attention. Yes, you can install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. It does work, uh, but unfortunately... It's going to be a very short-lived installation because I'm pretty sure that that door will be closed for updates. And now you're going to be running an operating system that isn't getting any sort of security updates, which is pretty risky. 
So is it worth all the hassle? Probably not. So it's probably not worth even consider doing. At the end of the day, you still have Windows 10 up until October 14th, 2025, which is probably going to be seeing the end of a lot of that old hardware anyway. So you've always got Windows 10 to use. And if you never knew Windows 11 was around the corner, you'd be happy just using Windows 10 anyway. So I don't see what the big deal is. Anyway, that was just a quick video on unsupported hardware for Windows 11 and what you can expect from Microsoft if you go ahead and install that on your system. I'm just giving you a heads up because I know pretty much there's a lot of videos out there showing you how to do it, but they're not probably telling you that what's going to happen to those operating systems further down the line when Microsoft shut the door on updates. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a big shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.